I was taking a look at my last year's goals and realized I was simply just setting goals for the sake of setting goals, which in retrospect is very dumb. So clearly something has to change, but I don't really know what that is. Do I need to be like working harder? Do I need to detach from the outcome? Do I not believe in myself? Like, what is it? I realized I was basically overthinking it and I just needed to be doing it less, but better. At the core of doing less but better is essentialism, which is basically focusing on everything that's essential and getting rid of all of the non-essentials in your life. So when we're not being essential of what we're doing, all of our energy is being put into many different activities that don't necessarily result in great outcomes versus when you have all your energy just put into a few activities, the outcomes are way more exponential. I really wanted to apply this in terms of my New Year's goals as a lot of us do in the beginning of the year. It can be exciting, but a little bit overwhelming because you're looking at all the aspects of your life and realize, yeah, I got a lot to improve upon, but where do we even start? The first thing I did was take a perspective and zoom out of my life and visualize everything as quote unquote separate folders. So let's take the YouTube folder for example. I then zoomed into all the components of this and started to explore. So I reflected on last year, what did I do well, what can I do better, brainstormed some video ideas and laid out broad goals, but I set no limitations. I just let my mind wander and whatever popped in my head I wrote down even if it seemed really unreasonable. The next part is really where essentialism comes into play, and that is elimination. You have the choice to keep whatever essentials you want and to remove all of the noise of the non-essentials. And for me, this is definitely one of the more difficult ones because I think that I can just do anything, which is true, but I just can't do everything right now. While I was eliminating, I realized that one, my goals don't need to be glamorous, honestly, the simpler the better, and two, I don't necessarily want to be limiting myself to what's possible, but I still need to take an honest look at where I'm at, so kind of that whole concept of being reasonably unreasonable. And now it's time for the execution part, which is what I'm currently in because it's only the first week of January. And I realized in the past with setting my goals, I kind of created this resistance because I felt like I had to do this and it, I didn't have it. So it was not natural at all. So this year I really want to focus on just letting this naturally unfold. And I think that the best way to do this is through actionable little habits that you know you can do. So for community, it might be having a call with another creator every week, or for my health, it might be closing my fitness rings on my watch, or for that YouTube folder, it could be editing for a minimum of 15 minutes a day. I know that doesn't sound that hard, they're pretty simple, but I really do think if you can do the small things really, really well over time, it's just going to create something unimaginable. And then I ended up going back and doing different folders in my life and repeating the same process. And it doesn't matter how many folders you have or if you need to do folders in general, but it's basically having that goal of breaking it down into habits that you can actually do very well every single day and focusing on the essentials within all of that. And as much as doing less is important, it's also the but better part. And of course there's so many several components of like what makes how to do something better. But for me, I really just think zeroing in and focusing on just the present moment. Kind of like you forget about the past and you're not worried about the future. I know it's easier said than done, but zeroing in and it just removes all of the stress because you're that focused in on that moment. I always have to remind myself that everyone's better is going to be different. For some people, it might simply be putting on their gym shoes to walk 0.2 miles. For some, it might just be reading five pages of that book or sending that email. Whatever that better is, it's going to be your better and that's all that matters. If you're just getting a little bit better every single day, it's all going to compound into something amazing. 
it's not always easy to get in that zeroed in present moment. It takes me a lot of time to get there. But when I am there, that's when I realize it really is about the journey. And that's a key part of essentialism is you are somewhat at least enjoying the process of what you're doing because when you're enjoying it that much, the goal or the outcome won't even matter at that point because you just love what you're doing. Legit, as I'm scripting this out right now, I'm zeroing out everything around me and solely focus on just writing this out because I made that choice to do so. For me, it's been about a week that I've been trying to do less better and I already realized I needed to go back to that execution part and remove more of my goals. And at first I felt like a little bit guilty because I'm like, I already failed my goals or whatever for the new year. It's like, no, like just getting rid of them. And then I can just hone in on more of those essential goals and see more outcomes from that. So don't feel guilty about removing habits or goals, whatever, just focusing on the essentials and knowing that it will change over time. And that is okay. So I'm finally headed off into a new year with the true excitement of my journey rather than being overwhelmed by goals again for the sake of just being there. And I really think that when we break down our goals and focus on the systems and habits within that, we're gonna feel way more fulfilled. And a mantra that I'm actually using this year is if everything is important, nothing is important. So what are you gonna be doing less of? Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. It really does mean a lot. And I'm seriously super excited for new things that I want to be doing this year with this channel. So definitely stick around for some more stuff and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.